You want to tell them what are you doing? Huh? You want to tell them what are you doing? Um, trying not to go find the guy that made this rocky ass mess and kick his ass. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, you know, eat your own. They want to farm the way they farm. In the end, I guess it's not that. up here and walk these fields and seen that he fucked him up so bad that it was going to destroy equipment and I need a bolt. In my hand. Yeah, I should have walked the fields. I should have. You know, but I never, I, you know what, the, the stupid thing is you can't imagine that somebody would do this to a place. You just, and I heard that this guy was a pig from so many people. I'm like, ah, he could be a pig, but I would have never guessed he'd have done that. So basically what happened was these things here kept banging on, they come over the rocks and it would just catch that rock would catch that and it actually just tore everything out. So now I gotta fix it. Teresa? Yeah. We're missing a cap, so that means that either somebody swiped it or it went flying in a direction underneath something. Anyway, we're going to get on to what this video is about, kind of, sort of. All right, so these farms are extraordinarily rocky. I had hay up in here years ago, and they weren't that bad, but there was another farmer that rented the place away from me. And when he did that, he came in with, I feel, a deep chisel plow and chiseled 
the rocks up from below. William, stop. So what that has done is when the openers go over the top of them, this is the V slicer rock guard, and where that mounts on the top, it broke the pin. There's a roll pin that went in the front. It broke that roll pin out on one side and basically just caused this rock guard to flip up out of the way. Hopefully my seed made it down into the end of the slot. I don't know that it wouldn't, but I gotta go look and hopefully it's not too bad. So what I ended up doing, if you see in the earlier in the video, was welding pins onto them to get that, to get those pins welded onto them so that it would all be where it belongs again. Re, uh, reattach the seed tubes at the bottom to those guards and from there just you know make it work <laughs> they have to be attached so we had to do that before i can finish up here i have approximately 22 acres to do yet and the real reason that i even noticed that any of this was a problem because all the seed tubes were working was that i actually broke off this unit here where these go on and i welded it on you could see it in the video that i welded it on and obviously it's working just fine so, but anyways, when I get the rest of this on, I'll show it planting and going back to work the way it's supposed to. So here we go. first minor failure of the corn planter not a real big deal it's just going to be a matter of can i fix it okay so yeah okay so that's what my wife tells me she says, hey, start everyone with okay so why do you do that well because that's how i do it anyway i'm gonna pop that pin out there drive it down pull it out sideways i've already loosened that these rings are they could be cantankerous but with the help of an air an air hammer or hair chisel she popped right loose <coughs> popped right loose and when I do tighten it I'm going to tighten it up and cinch it up with that because you can lose an o-ring because of that thing loosening up <coughs> but anyway <coughs> I swallowed it wrong yeah just a pipe wrench they do make special spanners for these I guess they call them spanners they make special rings or tools for these things things work now that I've got this thing pulled out so I've got that pulled out of there and if I am correct which I should be correct I have to drive that in let me grab it here so now that I got that ring off I'm gonna pop that off next but I should have to drive this in a little ways and then there's a snap ring in there and I'll pull the snap ring out so I drive that in pull the snap ring out and then the whole thing the whole barrel or the ram assembly should just come right on out and I can figure out which seal is leaking now oh, look at this what the heck this is it's just a bunch of crap growing in there I'll have to look but it's leaking around there so I imagine it's an inner seal on that which is shouldn't be too hard to make if I have to make one I can make one at least it'll slow it down and I'll show you how we do that all right now you can watch me struggle with this uh, let's see Will I be able to turn that probably not um, I have to dump oh yeah we are definitely gonna have to dump the oil out of that where's my thing oh shit all right hold on let me get my uh, thing Oh, 
awful lot of pressure on that. I guess if I could catch the majority of it, I'd be all right. Wind is catching me. Go do something right quick. Okay, well, you took a bath in oil. You didn't know that you took a bath in oil, but you took a bath in oil. Excellent. Good. Um, Oil running all over. Go one way of a cylinder. So okay. we can knock that in.
You watching this? There's a lot of guys out there that don't know that you can take these apart. Save yourself a bunch of money. There it is. Alright, so let me go get a special tool here real quick. I'll be right back. an off ramp so you push in on it and then you're able to get your picker underneath it and pull it up the easy part the easy part is finding out what the hell's wrong with it hard part's gonna be getting it out so I'm gonna get you in here a little closer um, you can see how these sometimes they're a little different but these are actually you push them inward right you push them inward and then there's a hard shelf on the back side or the front side of this uh, so it ramps in get a picker underneath it and then you can pull it right out so now what I'm going to do, obviously I'm going to wipe this cylinder down. And it's just a round clip, that's all. I can take these off, I think. Yeah, take those off. Set them over here. And now for the fun part. We're going to yank the ram. Let's move that out of the way. And then, when I get this out of here, it's going to want to piss all over the place. Let's do this a little bit on the sketchy side. We're going to hook an air hose up to it. out. <laughs> Fuck. Now I got a mess all over me. God damn it. Did you see that? Hydraulics and air. Jesus, I'll have to get some kitty litter on that. Now for the fun part. What caused this thing to leak and where? That's not good. Yeah, I guess I I guess it's all right. Let's go see what we got in the shop here. Give me a second. All right. So, something happened to the camera. I lost uh, my volume. So, what you're looking at is the old packing and the new packing. Uh, if you've ever played with packings, they're a real son of a bitch to get in. Uh, they really are. This ended up taking a sledgehammer, two blocks of wood, and a lot of uh, muscle power. See that sledgehammer there? Yeah, that's the one. I was just turning it there, but yeah, just tap it in there. Anyway, uh, got the new packing in. Why I had that packing is beyond me, but I had it. It was crazy. 
Mm. So we did get it all back together again and it worked and functioned perfectly fine. Uh, the breakdowns on this, this corn planter have been relatively minor. Uh, the first bit that you saw early on in the video, yeah, that was a little bit more major. That took several hours and uh, we tore it apart in the afternoon and it didn't get done until the next day, which you probably already understood. Uh, this one here was just a couple of hours. And even though it took me a couple of hours to do this, uh, Teresa had had a problem, so I went and I rescued her. She had a rock get stuck in the uh, a rock get stuck in the vertical tillage machine, so I had to go pound that out with the same sledgehammer. Uh, Timothy was having some issues with the sprayer, not a really a big deal, uh, but anyway, yeah, the uh, the corn planter went back together. I went to the field that afternoon and planted about 145, 150 acres. Worked out. Great, Tim actually went and sprayed fertilizer down. So that's that's just the way the this cookie was crumbling. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we've done, a lot of a lot a lot of stuff that we've done in the last couple of weeks that I know that you know you're not gonna see it because I'm not the kind of person to just upload old footage. This actually happened just a couple of days ago. Uh, the this the cylinder happened a couple of days ago but yeah anyway I uh, enjoy the rest I, I have a hardy sprayer issue next alrighty so this camera has screwed up quite a bit there's no volume I don't understand it uh, I just reformatted the SD card and hopefully that straightens it out alright so what you're seeing is me driving down through a county park uh, uh, labyrinth of driveways and roads to get to these small fields and they're not really that small there's a pond here on the right hand side you can fish there's 32 ponds at this farm uh, there's 118 acres of warm season grass there the former farmer on this is the same former farmer that was on the rock laid in ground that screwed up my uh, screw you know, pulled all the rocks up out from deep went in and deep chisel and screwed up my corn planter uh, yeah the and it's fine whatever the corn's up and growing up there i gotta go spray it uh today anyway but uh holy cow uh it was raining we were putting down two four it wasn't raining it's kind of a drizzle uh we we're putting down 24d and uh clarity on this along with uh nitrogen fertilizer and i was having a lot of problems like a lot of problems not a joke problems i couldn't get my rate to adjust speed pressure there's a pressure a flow control valve on this thing and it was just a nightmare so I was adjusting my speed to make up for the lack of material that was going on I was putting down only 12 gallons that's it and uh, 12 gallons of nitrogen anyway and the uh, the damn thing was just I would slow down and then it would the you know I would get to a point where I would slow down and then it would wind it back and then I'd have to continually slow down and then I would have to get out and adjust the damn thing and then get back in, start to, you know, get going at speed, kick the damn thing on, and this is the culprit. So this is the con computer board that controls the flow control and the boom section controls and all that. This is about $200. I had a spare one, that's why I know it was $200. And what has happened is the pins have rotted off. They just rotted off from the fertilizer. So, uh, and I broke one off of the slightly used new one that I have, and uh, there it is. So you can see those blank spots. That's where it rotted off. And I took I took from this one and put into the slightly used one to make it function. Got that going last night, and we're ready to spray.